ever heard of the term spiritual awakening? It is such a buzzword in the spiritual community, isn't it? And the thing is, it is way, way, way too dramatic that people make it out to be. Now, I'm not saying that spiritual awakening is all unicorns and rainbow. In fact, it is quite the opposite of that. But what I'm saying is that there isn't a need to actually overly dramatize it because what it essentially does is that it takes away your power and it distort your perspective from the truth and it just causes you to be in this roller coaster ride and getting nowhere in the journey. That is a common pitfall I see when people come across the term spiritual awakening. So instead of falling into the trap or getting caught in the spiritual drama, what you can do instead is learn more about spiritual awakening so you actually understand what is happening. That way you can equip yourself with the resources that you need so you don't have to struggle way, way, way too much. Make sense? And you don't have to do this on your own. You know, you can get the help you need, whether it is online, offline, and all of the things like that. So with that, we are going to start with finding out what is spiritual awakening and to discover how do you know if you are indeed going through spiritual awakening. Hi, I'm Alice Hadi, Starseed Guide Healer, Spiritual Coach, as well as Goddess Journey Facilitator. I'm so happy to share more with you today, starting with what is spiritual awakening. It is basically the process of the death of the ego and emergence of the soul. The death of the ego and the emergence of the soul. Meaning to say, you are starting to awaken into the truth of who you truly are, why you are here and what you are meant to be doing. To remember this soul journey, to remember the truth that is the process of spiritual awakening. And here are the seven common signs of spiritual awakening that I personally experience and I've seen that happening within the community that I'm in, whether it is my clients, my friends, and all of those people. So the first one is you are going through or have gone through what we call the dark night of the soul. As the name suggests, it basically means those darkest moments in your life where you just feel like you have had enough or that you can't take this anymore and that this is just like the kind of moment that makes you want to go down on your knee and pray and surrender to the will of the divine because it is totally now out of control. You know, those moments. And it is not exactly like one particular moment. Oftentimes, it is like a culmination of all those moments in life. However, usually there might be one or three or whatever number major, major events that you can consider as dark night of the soul throughout your spiritual awakening journey. An example of that will be probably when you experience something like losing your father or mother, your loved ones, or quitting your job because of burnout, or everything you do is just not working out. You know, the relationship is failing, the career is not going anywhere, and nothing just seems to work. You know, things like that. Or maybe you fall into some disease in your physical body and so on and so forth. You get the gist. It's just those moments in life where it is just literally dark night of the soul. So that's the first sign. And the second sign that you might be going through spiritual awakening is you are very drawn to spiritual teaching, wisdom, and knowledge. 
So you'll find yourself being at like spiritual community, spiritual events, whether it is like a huge fair or whether it is a one-on-one workshop or a six weeks long program, online courses, women's circle, aesthetic dance, whatever the shape and form is, but you're so drawn to it or you might be caught reading books and books about spiritual awakening or spiritual journey in general. You are just having this deep desire to really bust and learn all things spiritual. And the third sign is you are constantly searching for the deeper meaning and purpose in life. You might not know what they are yet, but you know deep down that they are more than what meets the eyes and that they are more to life than what it is on the surface. You are again, you know, diving into that truth and letting go of the illusion that fear and the society brings to you, but rather you are wanting to step away from what people think and go within to find your own truth, your own purpose, and your own meaning in life. And the fourth sign is you are getting more and more sensitive to energy. So you're getting more sensitive to the energy around you. You might start to pick up energy from other people when you go to crowded places. So you might find yourself overthinking when it is not actually your own thoughts. This is kind of also what a lot of what people call empath are facing. But it is also part of the awakening process where you get more sensitive because all of your senses are being awakened quite literally in that sense. And beyond that, what you might be experiencing is also you might start to feel the presence of light being, of light entity, like maybe you don't know if they are angels or dragons or ascended masters. You might not know exactly the name, but you start to feel the presence of the unseen, so to speak, because the veil is start to getting thinner for you between the spiritual and the material world and you start to be able to maybe see glimpses of light during your meditation or hear a buzzing in your ear or feel some sort of like chills in your body and nudges in the body during your meditation or even on your day-to-day life you're just feeling stronger and stronger presence of your angels or your spirit guides or just in general energy this is because again your senses are all awakened And when you are getting more sensitive like this, you become very delicate, especially at the beginning of your journey, because it is something like totally new and you don't know what's going on and you might feel some fear because it is unknown and it is new. And at the time like this, it is when it is important to have the spiritual fundamental tool to help you to cleanse your energy that is not yours, to protect your energy feel and to really learn how to ground yourself and raise your vibration throughout the process so that you stay centered and grounded and anchored during the spiritual awakening journey rather than going all over the place. Make sense? And you can find ways on how you can raise your vibration and learn all these spiritual fundamental tools in the description below. And the fifth sign of spiritual awakening which is kind of add on from the previous one is that as you are getting more sensitive, you start to feel intense physical symptoms. You find yourself not being able to sleep during full moon or getting migraine out of nowhere or purging like coughing and flu and as well as all other physical symptoms that usually are less common but then suddenly it happens to you and usually you know this is related to the cosmic energy when there is like something happening meaning to say you'll feel this intensified during full moon or 11 11 portal lion gate portal mercury retrograde on you know things like that when there is an cosmic event happening you feel this intensified these symptoms because you are actually receiving the upgrade of your own light code and DNA code and downloading and then purging what no longer serves you. So these symptoms become intensified. So these are just some of the common symptoms. It kind of differ from one person to another. 
And the sixth sign of spiritual awakening is that you start to see things differently. How cool is that? You start to see things from the eyes of source. You find yourself no longer be bothered by things that used to trigger you. And you start to find yourself almost like becoming a new person without trying to. You just see things differently. What you used to be afraid of no longer seems to be so scary anymore. And what is not of interest to you suddenly become of interest to you. Similarly, what was of interest to you in the past no longer fascinate you. Just like totally a changed person in a good way. Because you start to see things from love and from source rather than from fear. That's like really, really cool, right? And the last but not least, this sign of spiritual awakening is that you desire oneness and unity and the sweetness of life. Because you understand from the truth of the depth of your soul that we are not separate. Separation is what the ego makes of. So as you go through the process of the death of the ego, you start to realize that there is no separation among us, you know, and we are all connected and we are all one, not just human to human, but even we and the mother earth, we and the animals, we and the sun and the moon and the cosmos, like the entire universe is interconnected and we are all one and you desire to come home into that oneness because you know that is what you came here for in a way. So I'm curious to know which one of these seven signs do you resonate with? So the quick recap, first one, you have gone through the dark night of the soul. Second, you are drawn to spiritual teaching, wisdom, and knowledge. Third, you are constantly searching for higher purpose in life. Fourth, you are getting more and more sensitive to energy. Fifth, you experience intense physical symptoms. Sixth, you see things differently. Seven, you desire oneness. How many of these seven signs do you resonate with? Drop them in the comment and I would love to know. And remember, my love, you are not alone in this journey. Okay, you get to belong to a spiritual community that can support you, uplift you and inspire you. And this is why we are all here. So you can come on in, you know, drop by, say hello, leave a comment, get to know one another and get to connect in this way. You can also check out the description for the different resources that's available to support you during this spiritual awakening. You know, we have things like Star Seed Gathering where we come into a circle to connect every month or every other month so that you get to have that feeling of community. We also have light language activation to help you upgrade your light codes during the awakening process. Or spiritual fundamental too, so you can learn how to cleanse, protect, and clear your energy or to connect with your angels and many, many other great ways that we can work together, whether it is a one-on-one -on -one in group, live, or self-study. It is all found in the description. Go and pick what is most interesting and most resonance with you at this point of the journey. Just know that you are not alone and you deserve to receive the support and the help that you desire at this point. With that, I'm sending you much love and I will see you again.